guys, Robert Maxwell with The Man Factory, and in this video I want to show you how I've solved a few problems to do with some flexibility issues and some lower back pain that I've been dealing with that have been affecting my training and everyday life too. So basically what I found out through research and experimenting is that I've been dealing with this lower back pain because my hip flexor muscles are shortened, and the reason they're chronically shortened is because I spend a lot of my time, a lot of days, sitting here at this desk doing computer work. You've probably heard how bad habitual sitting can be for a body, and it's true, sitting really is the new smoking. And so when I figured this out, and that this was the cause of my back pain that was keeping me from deadlifting or squatting heavy and keeping me from doing other things, I knew I needed to change something drastically. So the first thing I changed was to stop sitting so much. Uh, you know, I, I earn a lot of my living at a computer, so that part is non-negotiable, but I've set up this box here with my keyboard and mouse on top of it. I know there's a lot of standing desk units out there you can buy fancy things, but this suits me just fine. The box just so happens to be at the perfect height so that I can stand up at my desk and tilt my monitor, as you can see, up so that I am not sitting down and, and not constantly underutilizing my hip flexors and allowing them to shorten and pull on my lower back and tighten my hamstrings. So that's part number one of the solution. Part number two is to counteract the shortening and lack of use of my hip flexors, ideally while I'm working. And I was able to come up with a solution for that too. And that solution is to simply put a foot up on my desk well, I work here at the computer. Now it looks a little funny, but it just so happens my desk is at an ideal height that when I put my foot up here and I lean forward a little bit into the stretch, I can flex the hip flexor of the leg that is still down on the floor very effectively. In fact, I haven't done this for a little while now and I'm really feeling a pull in that hip flexor, which is exactly what I want. I need to lengthen and stretch my shortened hip flexors that have gotten that way through way too much sitting over the years. So I've been trying to do this two or three times every day since discovering this trick. And when I feel I have a good stretch on my, my right hip flexor, then I can just shift my box with the keyboard over a little bit and put the other leg up there and do the same thing on the other side, flexing the left hip flexor muscle, sorry, stretching the left hip flexor muscle and getting it to slowly lengthen and to do what it's supposed to do better, to not pull on my hamstring and cause me to have anterior pelvic tilt and all sorts of things that have been happening to me. So just a great little trick. If you work at a desk, you can use this too. If your desk is too short to get a good stretch, you can always stand on a stack of books or put a stack of books or a box or something on top of your desk, under your foot, to get a little more height. You'll also notice that I'm wearing my lifting shoes here. The reason for that is simple. Um, I find that it's really hard on my feet to stand on them at this desk all day without some padding and some proper support, which my lifting shoes provide. So you might want to use your lifting shoes or even just a pair of running shoes, regular trainers, if you're planning to switch from sitting to standing at your desk. But hope you find this useful if you've been dealing with back pain and if you have anterior pelvic tilt where your pelvis is tilted forward resulting in an over extension of your lower back like what I've been dealing with, this stretch and stopping sitting so much might just be the thing that helps you like it's been helping me. Thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe if you enjoy the content and I'll see you next time.